Before I begin today's video, guys, I just want to let you all know that my Twitter contest is going to end literally a week from now. So, uh, if you guys haven't followed me on my meme account yet and want to support me on this uh, long journey, even though it's coming to a close, uh, be sure to leave a follow. I'm currently like in the top five or top six standings, if I did the math correctly. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be receiving extra credit if I stay in the top five. So, be sure to leave a follow at BendyStrawFlex on Twitter. Anyways, on to the video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Smash related video. Today, we're going to be showcasing um, these stages created by Daniel328. As you can tell, we're here at the classic Break the Target stage, Mario edition, obviously. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, his stages on the original 12's Break the Targets list. As you can tell, we have bombs instead of actual targets be just because, well, we don't have an, an official... Uh, break the targets mode just yet. It looks pretty accurate, uh, except the fact that you can actually hop onto these bombs, which uh, isn't really ideal, but uh, I'm gonna try to avoid doing that. As far as I could tell for the Mario one just now, um, it's pretty cool. The only problem I have to it is that it's a little, I think it's a little too small, because like, I'm pretty sure if I do up B here, um, in the original game, Mario couldn't like even jump close to it and he had to pretty much up B to it. But uh yeah, that that was Mario's. I'm going to be rotating around the whole roster. I'm gonna be starting again with uh Donkey Kong just because he was already on deck, and then I'm gonna go around clockwise and with Luigi just because I'm biased for him. <laughs> Alright guys, so here we are with Donkey Kong's Break the Target stage. I remember for a fact that you could uh, punch through this, and it still works, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'll give you guys a direct link to his YouTube uh, video. He actually did make one to showcase it, but um, yeah, the whole ideas and everything are found in his channel. I will also provide it, I guess, in the description below. Uh, if it makes it easier for you guys, but uh, definitely show some love to Daniel328 as he's the actual creator and not me. I'm just here to showcase uh, what he has. Uh, oh boy, this is kind of a little hard. If I remember correctly from the original, you're supposed to start up here, um, hit this. I'm pretty sure an up B is what uh, 64 had in mind, and then you just hit this last part, so... Cool beans, cool beans. Alright guys, so Link's Break the Targets is pretty interesting. As you could all tell, we're on top of the targets, literally. Um, I'm pretty sure in the original, you start down here. But um, yeah, did you guys ever have any problems with this when you were younger? Because uh, there's this one section that I'm going to show you guys. You can't go up here, which is unfortunate. But uh, I think you can... What, what, what was it like in the 64 version? Can you like do that? No. The one I'm talking about is this. Uh, usually you can't reach that, but obviously it's made easier so people can actually reach that, but I'm pretty sure you had to, like, um, up B precisely, and also another one was, uh, the top one over here, which was aggravating when I was younger, like, you had to, like, angle the boomerang or something, I don't know, I might be mixing it up, maybe it's the other one, but it's, like, one of those, I'm pretty sure you can't reach this normally with, a uh, up B, because, you know, Link's, <laughs> up B in 64 was trash, but... Yeah, you could slash through here if Samus could just get out of the way. Thank you very much. Let me see if I could do stylish. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't even have to do anything. I just had to touch it. All right, guys. So here we are with Samus's stage. Um, oh, okay. We got Brian over here who just like fell down completely. But we got one target here. Uh, it looks very simple, just like the original. Um, shout out to Begans playing Minecraft on the Switch. Here, you were supposed to originally up B, but I'm sure we could just reach that with an up air. Uh, do another bomb over here. Oh, what? Whoa. I just, like, glitched through the stage. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. Um, hit that one. We hit this one with a uh, bear. And uh, usually you could use this uh, just normally uh, with a fair or something to hit the last one. But uh, in the original, I used the blast. Now, for Captain Falcon, his uh, stage is uh, similar in terms of um, theme. It's, like, all, like, steel, kind of. Uh, I remember being able to uh, Falcon Punch one of the targets, if I am correct about it. I think, huh, maybe maybe it's the last one I did. I usually did that, but uh, I don't think you have to. Guys, if you want to try this out, um, be sure to put one stock 
I guess 10 minutes is a good amount. I'm not sure, but what am I supposed to do over here? I forgot. Oh, no. I think I'm supposed to Captain Falcon punch the the uh, one that was trying to not stand on because it's kind of cheating. Um, I think we could do it this one. Nope. What? Okay. I don't want to hit that, like, on top. So I'm just going to... Yeah, okay. There we go. I just don't want to land on it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, let's just try to land this. Nope. I, I am really bad at this game. I apologize for that atrocious gameplay. So we're going to try that again. <laughs> with just a back air because I don't think I have enough um, height for that. Okay, so then you're supposed to go down here, up B, and die! Because, you know, I suck at this game. Wow! Okay, I made it this time. <laughs> I got a little scared over there. Don't hit the ledge because that's cheating. You're supposed to go down and hit that. Okay, there you go. We got Captain Falcon. Jeez. By the way, that took me like four times. All right, up next we got Jigs. Don't really remember his... Uh, stage just because i don't really play jigs but uh it's like kind of the same theme as uh, pikachu's and uh, i believe kirby's i get a little scared because like i know 64 jigglypuffs is um jumps aren't as good but other than that uh, i think we'll be able to do it because the improved jumps are making it easier for me look at this only two jumps down here and i'm pretty sure you needed like like almost the most optimal jump possible let's do side b down here and we'll go up here for the last one, I believe. Just making sure it is. Oh no, there's there's two more. Okay, we could definitely get this one first with an up air. Don't die, please, because you know, I didn't want another episode like Captain Falcon. We got one down here, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, uh this one was kinda uninteresting to me. I don't know why, I just maybe just didn't have the nostalgic factor. Uh, like the other ones thus far. I always like Pikachu's just because there were uh, this hidden one. Literally, I'm pretty sure it's this only one that's like down here. And the only way is to use uh, a shock. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the highlight for this one. Oh, actually this one as well. I remember just down being and being able to get that in the original version. Um, this one's a lot bigger than the other ones to me for some reason. You could actually see the rest of the stage. This is what I want to be able to see like <laughs> during the pausing menu. But, uh, you know, I'm not giving any uh, crap for Daniel. I love his, uh, oh, what do you call it? His work on this. And uh, maybe a little improvements on scaling would be cool. But honestly, this is the actual <laughs> break the targets I've always wanted. And with, with the ultimate mechanics, I, I really hope we get something in the future, like break of targets, uh, board of platforms would be really, really freaking dope. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's Pikachu's stage. All right, so now I'm pretty curious on how Daniel did the fox one because this, ooh, this one right here, this is the, the tricky one to make. Uh, I haven't made my own stage yet, but I know for a fact this looks to be hard <laughs> with the um, rotations. Um, can I? Can I? Oh gosh, that that is un. That is not even. Oh wait, I still got it, kinda. So, um, the camera angle su sucks to see that it doesn't really work on your favor most of the time, um, as I've been um, experiencing with this. But at least I can use these la lasers. It actually does damage to the bombs. And the up B for uh, uh, that one over there. He added, I guess, a platform so you don't die. Makes it easier, I guess. But um, we're just gonna side B. And a beat. Yeah, there you go. Now, I always like Kirby's as well, just because um, there's a down B section, which is the one that's all the way up here. Uh, this one looks like it's scaled bigger than the other ones, too. What the heck? Okay. I always like the design because it kind of just looked, I don't know. It kind of just looked a lot more interesting than, say, Jigglypuffs. I don't know. Anyway, what I wanted to show is this down B section where you get like three targets at once. Let's see if it works. Wow, that was very anticlimactic. I couldn't get the last one. Yeah, it's kind of a little glitch over here. But uh, other than that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty pretty accurate, I guess. Um, it's supposed to be this big. I wish like other stages were a little bit bigger like that. I already noticed that this side over here is a lot easier to reach. Uh, I remember I think you had to like jump the whole way. This one though. Oh, okay. So this one you can actually make it since Yoshi has that jump now. Like the extra like bounce after the up B, but originally, let's see if I can try to do it. Like you're supposed to just use an egg to hit that, yeah. Except I didn't mean to jump on top of that, so I'm gonna go back down, try to do it originally, kinda. I guess you could reach that in the original. Don't know. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. Um, another Yoshi egg up here. I'm just thinking 64 mechanics. You know what I'm saying? Like 
<laughs> like, I'm thinking that I could use the eggs and, like, throw it like that while going like this and for some reason I just couldn't do it so that's the last one there's another platform here and you could usually just do an up air oh gosh okay nuppy worked all right so this is Ness's I don't remember his as much it's kind of like Jigglypuff in a sense just because when I unlock Ness I didn't really care about doing break the targets anymore because uh, if you guys remember you needed to do break the targets with the original eight really um, to get Luigi and that's who I wanted. This is like nearly impossible. Like how the hell are you supposed to do this? Uh, we're just gonna go to the other side first. I know for a fact, PK Thunder will work, should work down here. Ooh, I got that. Ooh, so good at this game guys. Even though <laughs> I was like missing like everything and, and like dying to Captain Falcon jumps. I can't even get an angle over here. Oh, wait, I got it. Why, what did I miss? Oh my gosh, I will, I will get this. I was literally right after that one. I was just like, screw it, do do a down air or something. But uh, yeah, on to the last one. All right, y'all. This is the last break the target stage, Luigi. We start down here, which is kind of uh, weird. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the last part. So I'm going to try to do this one last for nostalgic purposes. So um, he recreated the blue-ish, um, the blue-ish platforms with sponge. Which is pretty cool. I like how he remade this portion with uh, sand and uh, metal, I guess. So, in the original, this is what I would do. I would like down air, then jump back up here. And it still, I guess, works, except, uh, you know. Luigi back then had the um, down air, like in Super Mario World, just like Mario. And we can get this one by. Maybe I can just. <laughs> Let's just do a side B. Oh, okay, that worked, even though I landed on it, so technically I cheated with that one. But, uh, yeah, we're on to the last two, so, uh, overall, the Break the Target's pretty cool. And, uh, not gonna lie, it's, uh, it's not as, uh, what do you call it? unproportional. I know I kept saying that it's unproportional a little bit, but, uh, it still works, and I'm pretty sure I haven't seen any other person, um, put actual, like, targets, like, bombs. I mean, there probably are people on the actual, like, online shared content page but uh this is what i've seen on youtube so again shout out to daniel let's see if we get a side b in this or just up b yep okay so that is going to be it for the break the targets again guys if you want to download these stages be sure to check the description down below i will provide a link to daniel 328's video as well as um i guess i'll copy and paste his ids if you guys are really that lazy uh check the link regardless give him some views you know he's the original creator i'm just here to showcase uh as a fan of the Break the Target series, uh, <laughs> I really thoroughly enjoyed uh, playing these. Uh, while it's not totally the same as the original, it's there and uh, it's pretty depicted uh, uh, similarly. Similarly, I don't even know how I said that, it's weird. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while, like literally about a week ago, I uploaded a Smash video and that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, I'm almost done with finals, or I'm actually almost done with school entering finals week, is what I meant to say. And uh, more videos coming soon. If y'all wanted me to check out a specific stage or a series of stages, be sure to comment down below an ID. Something pretty interesting, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Be sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel and just stumble across it. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate content. Anyway guys, I've been JigsawFlex, sign out for now, and I'll catch you all next time.